hello everyone let's deal with this very quickly okay we have to find the values of y from here y to the power of 3 plus y equals 10 this means that y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to 0 what I have done is to bring the 10 to the negative um, the left hand side now y to the power of 3 plus y minus 8 then plus 2 in fact it's going to be minus 2 as well is equal to 0 because minus 8 minus 2 will give plus 10 will give minus 10 now let's rearrange this we're going to have y to the power of 3 minus 8 then plus y here minus 2 is equal to 0 okay from here let's um, try to factorize but before then y to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 plus y to the power um, okay there's no power again y minus 2 is equal to 0 do you know that we can group this into two and group this like this so that's from here we can now deal with what we have in this bracket and the other one now let's get this standard if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this standard will give a minus b okay then into a squared plus a b plus b squared now we're going to apply this standard here and get what we have in the first bracket so in the first bracket in place of a minus b i shall write y minus 2 close that then here a squared now becomes y squared then a b here becomes y times 2 which is 2y then plus b squared here becomes 2 squared so i'm going to write 2 squared over there close this then plus in the second bracket we still have y minus 2 right and this is equal to 0 now what do i do from here we have y minus 2 and y minus 2 we can factor it out y minus 2 will come out as a common factor here we have y squared plus 2y then plus 4 right and then i'm going to pick what we have over there and it's going to be plus 1 because y minus 2 divided by y minus 2 will give us 1 over there so i'll put this together and this is equal to 0 now i can add this so that's y minus 2 here into y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Now guess what I'm going to do from here. From here, I will apply 0 product rule. I have y minus 2 in this bracket and I have this in the other bracket. Now let's bring the two of them together or let's deal with them separately. So y minus 2 is equal to 0 meaning that y is equal to 0 plus 2 and then y is equal to 2 okay so this is the real solution to this problem now we can get other solutions from this um, quadratic expression if we equate it to 0 so we can say that um, y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 if you're going to use the quadratic formula, then you must know your a, b, and c. Our a is a coefficient of y, which is 1. b is a coefficient of, um, okay, a is a coefficient of y squared. b is a coefficient of y, which is 2. And then c is a constant, which is 5. Now, the formula, since we have y in the equation, it will be y equal to minus um, b plus or minus square root of b squared 
minus 4ac divide the whole of this by 2a now what we will do is to substitute directly into this um, formula so y will now be minus um, b is 2 so we have minus 2 plus or minus Okay, b squared now becomes 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 5, right? That means we have 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5. The whole of this will be divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times 1. Now, y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus. We have square root of 2 squared is 4. Then minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20. So the whole of this would be over 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, let's continue. y here is equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Then we have negative 16. Because 4 minus 20 is negative 16. And the whole of this will be over 2. What I'm going to do is to try to remove this negative from here. y will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. We have square root of 16 multiplied by square root of negative 1. Remember that if I multiply this, again, I will have negative 16, right, in there. And the whole of this will still be over 2. Now, let us continue y here will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 here um okay square root of 4 um square root of 16 rather we give 4 then square root of um negative 1 will give i so we can put these two together and then the whole of this will be divided by 2. now let's deal with this this means that y is equal to 2 can go there. We have minus 1, plus or minus. The same 2 will go here. Then we have 2i. No more denominator over there. And then this means that y is equal to minus 1, plus 2i, or minus 1, minus 2i. Okay, so these are, these are the two other solutions to the equation now let's bring the three solutions together okay so we had y1 first which is equal to 2 then y2 is from here minus 1 plus 2i okay sorry let me position it very well okay so we have y1 y2 then y3 is equal to minus 1 minus 2i. So these are the three solutions to the equation. Mind you, the first solution is a real solution.